So welcome back. Um, this week we are covering hyperbaric oxygen. Um, and hyperbaric oxygen is uh, fascinating. It's something that I was slow to convert to, actually. Um, I have personally used a lot of EWOT uh, training, which is exercising with oxygen therapy. Um, and I was very down on it, actually, until I was able to try uh, one of these chambers myself. And I tried a 1.5 atmosphere and a 1.3 atmosphere chamber. Um, both of which I found incredibly supportive and very, very relaxing. Um, and uh, in, personally, I think it's a wonderful complement uh, to the ozone therapy or the ozone um, soreness. Um, so I hope you enjoyed learning more about hyperbaric oxygen. It's certainly something that's become more readily available for people um, with the introduction of the 1.3 and the 1.5 atmospheres uh, chambers. Uh, so also don't forget, we are still running our Coromana discount. Uh, if you're thinking of doing one of the programs within the new year, then now is the perfect time to uh, get ready for that. So I hope you enjoy this episode. <laughs> hyperbaric um, oxygen um, therapy, um, which is an interesting one from my perspective, um, because I, uh, for many, many years, have used something uh, which they call um, uh, EWOT, exercising with oxygen therapy, um, which uh, I, I, I absolutely think is uh, still uh, fantastic. Um, but uh, um, those that tend to use um, EWOT tend to be a little bit down on hyperbaric oxygen, and I fell into that trap myself uh, until I had the opportunity to actually use um, a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, uh, one that was uh, hard packed and one that was soft, um, uh, which was uh, 1.5 atmospheres or 1.3. And I have to say that the feeling is very, very surprisingly relaxing and lovely and just feels very um, calming and very soothing. Um, it feels a little bit like being on an airplane, um, uh, which is not a relaxing thing to, to do. Um, but if you can imagine uh, being in an airplane and it being relaxing, <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty much what it's like. Um, so yeah, t tell tell me about um, tell first, me about the benefits of class. hyperbaric You've oxygen. Never first yeah, first, that would be it. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. There's the analogy. It's like flying first class, <laughs> which I have never done. I can add. No, it, uh, I ha I haven't either. Yeah, I have to admit. On my list. <laughs> closest I got was business class, which I have to say was was really spoiling. Uh, and ev ever since then, I'm like, oh my god. Every time I fly mm. standard class, I'm like, oh, I miss, I miss yeah. business. <laughs> well, I've never flown business either. So, uh, yeah, well, um, so the Hawkers are not the Hawkers, the uh, HBOP, the um, hyperbaric is, well, you know, if, if I was to choose between it and the Hawkett, uh, it's, it's a hard one. Um, the, the hyperbaric is super relaxing. And for the very first one that I ever had, I've never gotten into it and said, oh, I don't like it or, I'm, you know, I wish I didn't or, you know, I, I just love it. Um, it, it, it does reach that you know, as, you, as you're saying, the, the, the pressure. And really, um, it's, a, it's a chamber that you're sitting in. So, so you're fully clothed in this one. Uh, we just take off the shoes um, and you're, you're fully clothed in it. And um, the one that I have is a one person um, chamber. And I did that purposefully because all of the therapies that I do, all of the, you know, the way in which I work is so individual and so personal um, that I wanted somebody 
to have their own personal uh, experience if they're going in to have hyperbaric therapy. It's just them having hyperbaric therapy. And um, so I did choose it for that reason, um, mostly. So basically, the air pressure is raised um, to a level that is, uh, you know, higher than the, than the normal um, on, and, and the normal air pressure. Um, so that basically the, it, you know, it, it'll, it'll stabilize, as you say, in a three bar or, or five bar, depending on what, what one you're in, essentially. So with that reason in air pressure, then the body is going to take in um, more oxygen, essentially. Um, so we are really blasting your system. We're getting that, you know, high levels of oxygen into um, the body. Most of the time, um, not always, but you are usually an hour um, in, in there. It's an hour session. And essentially, um, this higher level in uh, oxygen allows for, you know, um, the fluids in the body to be treated, the cerebral spinal fluid, uh, the lymph fluid, the blood, um, the circulation is increased. And I, as you mentioned before, in um, about the pocket, the um, the level of inflammation is decreased because of the circulation is able to get into those areas, into those smaller areas, uh, blocked areas essentially, um, and sort of dissolve um, what, what, whatever is, is going on there. Um, so again, for that reason, it is highly detoxifying um, treatment to have. Um, it's excellent for um, repair, um, regeneration of body of the cells it's in a kind of on a cellular level we're getting into um excellent for the brain for the central nervous system again excellent for um any type of uh, injury to that area um you know it, it, the list goes on it's it's just amazing it really is amazing um so the only thing i suppose that i point out is that you are in the chamber this time um, with the hockage, your head is out of the chamber. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. I hope you can, but this is the um, microbaric chamber. So you are zipped into it. Now, inside this chamber, I literally have um, a rocking chair. You are asleep for, some people read, but most people just, kick back and go to sleep with a comfy I mean, it's pillow fantastic and a, that you put a rocking chair yeah. in there that's wonderful because yeah. of course that that movement that gentle rock um you know has been proved time yeah. and time again to just be so supportive um you know for the yeah. rest of the state you can see state. it rocking yeah. over and back oh and that's it's fantastic like, oh, you know yeah yeah <laughs> it is it's beautiful and it's a perfect um a perfect rocking chair in the sense that the, the side panels of it are um, put together in such a way that it only goes back to a certain point. You, it's impossible to topple. So you, you're totally safe. You're totally able to just kind of kick back and, and relax, essentially. Um, the, the, you, you have a, a thing around your, really just around your neck. You can wear it on your head if you like, but just really around your neck. Um, where you're just getting this oxygen, you're breathing it in, and it's it's it feels very gentle. Um, it feels when it reaches when the air pre pressure um, reaches um, balance, um, it almost does have that sort of sedative kind of feeling where you just you just go off to sleep, um, and it's yeah, it's really really relaxing. Um, so yeah, so again, it's it's about circulation. It's about um, high levels of oxygen within the body. It's about detoxification, supporting the body. Um, yeah, it 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 goes on and on. Again, here here we have all the um, neurological repair and regeneration, diabetes treatments. There's been um, lots of research for. Um, uh, diabetic uh, injury, you know, on on um, the limbs, um, 
and uh, injury in general actually will will regenerate you know if you've had an operation or you've had a, a an accident um for uh, repair hyperbaric oxygen is excellent for that um, there's a lot of research done into um you know autism um very very beneficial uh, for that uh, it's excellent for right and left brain integration so it's excellent for that brain fog uh, you know, for the, the you know, the, the, the level of toxicity that can reach the brain, essentially, um, through le high levels of toxicity that are in the system, whether that's from heavy metals or uh, fungal or mold or parasites or whatever it is. So um, it's really, 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 really supportive. Um, again, uh, so gastro uh, gastrointestinal uh, inflammation um, and accelerates recovery from a sports injury as well. Um, and it reduces the side effects of traditional uh, cancer treatments. Um, so uh, we do have a lot of people who are um, within the medical, um, the medical system um, having um, varying cancer treatments. But they use uh, the hyperbaric uh, alongside that or in between their... Um, their therapies um, and their on their off periods very often um, for um, support to the body yeah. uh, to get oxygen into the system again. So um, lots of people are, are choosing to do that um, as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And and do you also it's similar with the hocket because the hocket is also very very supportive alongside other um, more medical treatments do you do, do you often use the hocket in that area or is it only the hyperbaric no uh, <clears throat> um it's not only the hyperbaric i mean yeah. um so so people um lots of people come um and have a hocket and they get out of the hocket and they get into the hyperbaric so yeah. they're they the, the two they, of them they do both in one day mm. yeah 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 or, or the infrared into the hyperbaric. So really yeah. any of the treatments that we have, you can have uh, the hyperbaric as a, a, a alone, or you can have it as a, an, um, in conjunction with uh, something else. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Um, it just, it, 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 dep it, it depends basically. So the, the hocket will open up all the, the pathways in the body um, and, you know, just to prep the body, if you like, for, uh, allowing the oxygen into the system it it gets the, the hypothermic um, reaction in the body so the pores are open and um, the um, capillaries are dilated you know so it's already started that process of getting um, levels of oxygen into the system for for an anti-inflammatory um, response so that the hyperbaric on top of that then really Goes, it's, goes, it's, it's hugely deeper. beneficial yeah. yeah 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 and what a lot of people i think don't kind of um start to to realize um is that if there is uh, inflammation um whether it's you know from an injury or whether it's chronic inflammation um what a lot of people don't realize is that um because of that inflammation <clears throat> then the blood flow is not able to get often into those areas or significantly reduce blood flow which means significantly less oxygen is able to get into those yeah. areas and if the cells are not able to get oxygen then they're not able to produce energy uh in the way that they should be able to they have to um, they have to change um, to use, uh, it's a simplified a little bit, but some form of fermentation almost to produce the energy that they, that they need, which causes more inflammation. And so one of the things that is quite uh, uh, wonderful about hyperbaric oxygen is that you're, you're breathing oxygen, but you're breathing oxygen and your body is under pressure, which means that you are almost forcing um, it's, and, it's, and it doesn't feel forced in any stretch of the imagination, but no, you're, you're increasing so. the pressure <clears throat> to be able to push that additional oxygen into the areas that are um, that are inflamed, that are not getting enough oxygen in, in those areas, which allows for those cells to detoxify themselves, which allows for them to clear themselves out. 
Um, and, and that's often what what people don't realize. I mean, you know, uh, I cannot remember who it was, but you know, it was very clearly established that uh, cancer cannot grow in an oxygen rich environment. And so often when somebody is suffering from from cancer, it's in an area that is <clears throat> chronically inflamed and and not enough oxygen is able to get into those areas. And so that's one of the reasons why hyperbaric oxygen is so supportive and why ozone is so supportive in being able to reduce that inflammation to increase the oxygen in the areas that are inflamed. Um, and that's one of the reasons why um, it works. Uh, it works so well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> that's it that's exactly it yeah um oxygen deprived cells um can can you know they become distorted um and also <clears throat> the 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 cellular ability to um detoxify itself in on a on a cellular level um, is affected because the mitochondrial um, uh, function is affected as well. So it's it's yeah it's it's basically detoxification on a cellular level is increased, not just on a you know organ level or or on a, on a, on a more you know special level if, if that's the best description. And um, you're able to get into those um, deep places where. Um, inflammation is because of detoxification is is um inhibited essentially um so therefore atp which is your your energy um on a cellular level that's produced is increased so your actual energy is increased um and the the, the better the blood flow and the better the lymph flow um the 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 waste disposal program part of your system and um, the, the the better it is for well just your general health and for feeling for feeling better basically so <clears throat> yeah it really does go very very uh very very deep so um but it's it's a it's a really enjoyable process it's really it's a really you know i don't know people just love getting in and just <laughs> zipping it up and go away for an hour basically and um, including me um and yeah it's 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 really enjoyable and it's super beneficial and you know even though it's so gentle something is happening something's going on within the system um yeah, feels, and you feels, do get your like benefits a holiday. of that it's very nice that yeah way. yeah mm. yeah it is yeah so there isn't very much again um that you can't you know, um, do, uh, uh, if you can't fly, uh, you can't get in. And if you can't yeah. fly, you can't get in essentially. Um, and I suppose the only thing about an airplane is if you, if you have, um, an experience where the ears are popping and, you know, from the pressure, you can't, um, decrease the pressure, uh, in an airplane, uh, but we can hear, so we just balance it until that goes away. So if you do have a difficulty um, flying, uh, usually in a hyperbaric, we can rectify that um, yeah. quite quickly. Um, yeah, and you can you can oh, decompress it, the it, chamber relatively <clears throat> relatively quickly. Um, uh, so you know if if somebody's uncomfortable yeah. or they're a little bit um, nervous about it or anything else, there's you know within uh, what is it you know five or ten seconds you can with the emergency release uh you know you can yeah you can yeah you, you can really you can get it down very fast very fast yeah. um absolutely um and and also the the thing about this the benefit of this too is that you know i've 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 had people who have had hyperbaric in a hard uh shells um gun, but but they could be in with 10 people and if one person decides they want to get out, well, then everybody has to get out. You know, it's it, that's it. So this is another reason for this, um, uh, you know, really relaxing uh, experience because it's just you and you call the shots if you want to 
um, get out, you can get out. If you want to stay, you can stay. You know, it's 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 just about you, and that's that's even more relaxing um, for for people who have experienced it in with multiple people in, in other ones. So, um, yeah, and that's a that's a huge yeah. important point mm-hmm. as well. In that, in that, some of these larger units that they they they're hard they're hard case, but they're often you're being taken to two atmospheres, um, and in order to get to two atmospheres, it often takes. 40 minutes or something like that and then in order to decrease that pressure it will take something similar to that and yeah, so what right. what a lot yeah. of these larger units are is they have five six seven people in them but if somebody has a bad reaction then everybody has to come out and they're extraordinarily expensive uh you know just single mm-hmm. sessions are extraordinarily expensive and the nice yeah. thing about the soft pack and even the hard packs that are only going to 1.5 atmospheres um is that uh it it because um uh people are able to do them more regularly and it's much easier for them to do it um and you're not again creating that massive detoxification process by having something that is two atmospheres or something else the therapeutic value of 1.3 or 1.5 it means that the body is not having a massive Herxheimer reaction, having to deal with it. It's much, uh, it's a much smoother ride in terms smoother, of supporting yeah. the body. Mm. Um, and that was one of the reasons to begin with why I was down on hyperbaric oxygen, because at the time, um, there were not really these 1.3, 1. 1.5 1. Um, uh, versions of it. Um, and all I would largely hear is the kind of story that you're just you're describing and the people were just like you know I, I got in it was very expensive um, you know I, I I I you know felt some benefits but you know it's going to take me another month before I can afford another session and that's where I turned to using um, exercising with oxygen therapy because you're basically using your own heart as um, as the pump to increase the pressure to get more oxygen into into the areas but again that only works on somebody that is able to get their heart rate up um, substantially yeah. through through exercise and many people that are that are struggling um, that's not that's not appropriate that's not that's not that's not where they where they're at they, their body is already in many cases in what seems to be a um, um, qu- quite a quite a stressed state and so yeah. what we want to do is we want to support them by just letting it relax further. Um, and although I think that um, the EWOT, you know, has its has its benefits and even in um, even where um, both can be can be used in different scenarios. That's what I found. Um, I really loved about hyperbaric oxygen was that you're just relaxing. You're just there yeah. to just have some time to yourself and just let it let it be um you know read a book close your eyes meditate you know whatever it is you Mm. know it's your time yeah um yeah absolutely most people just honestly they just sleep they just you know kick back and and sleep most most people do some some list you know read and stuff but for the for the most part it is so it's very much knowing you've got an hour to totally chill out hope you found that um, helpful and informative um, if you want to learn more um, then please do visit focushealth.ie to learn more about the different modalities that they have as well as the packages that they offer um, and if you want to learn more about Kuramana, then please visit Kuramana.com. Um, next week we're going to be covering PEMF which is uh, another really amazing and fascinating uh, uh, modality um, and PEMF stands for pulsed electromagnetic fields Um, So uh, look forward to that one. All right. Lots of love. Bye.